Well, now, at this age, what makes his fadeaway tough is that he's kind of slow. All of a sudden, it'll be an up and under to another up to another under. Ah, like, you don't know if he should jump yet or not. His defender's over here somewhere. He got a clean, open jump shot with no dribble. And if you jump on it, then he's just going to go to the free throw line. Sometimes you just can't stop serving God, even if you know what's coming. It's ridiculous. <laughs> fadeaway to my repertoire. Kind of as I start setting up guys with the, just a regular fadeaway, um, I wanted to add a counter to it. You know, watching the film of Michael Jordan, watching the film of Kobe Bryant, um, seeing how they got to their, their shot. You know, me being a little smaller than those two guys, um, I just had to put my own spin to it, you know, and, and find my own way to make sure I can get, get to my shot. So the goal um, for me into this move is to make my defender commit. The first thing I try to do is I try to drive baseline to get my defender to commit down here to try to cut me off. And he try to cut me off, I'm, I'm, I'm in, a, in the middle of spinning back. So as a defender, if you cut me off this way and I spin back, you're gonna try to get all the way back around here. That is your job. So how I set it up is as I come here, he cut me off. I drop it on the fake and he's way over there. So it gives me an opportunity to get to my rhythm shot. If he's a defender and he's trying to get to you, you cut him off, he's gonna try to come back and contest that shot. So that gives me an opportunity sometime to get my shot up a little higher or it gives, my, gives me an opportunity some time to get to my up and under. The floor is almost the harder because you can't time it. The puck fake is, is a lethal weapon. Wade shaking, firing, and finishing. Wade. Back to home. Don't know if he's shot faking or if he's really going to shoot it. So he got a bad trick. His pump fake is one of the best. D Wade fadeaway jumper. He's getting it on the block. We're looking at the goal. It'll be the left block. He's going to catch it. He's going to look over the shoulder to the left to see if anybody's cutting. If he doesn't see anyone, he's going to take probably two dribbles maybe three, do a half spin to the left, and if you bite on that, he's coming back over his right shoulder and he's shooting fadeaway. Right 